<laughs> What's up, everybody? My voice is still jacked from the weekend. What an amazing show. If you guys haven't ever been to Sparks and the Ozarks, you really need to put that on your bucket list. It is absolutely an amazing show. I'm so happy that I got as much footage as I did for you guys to be able to watch. If you haven't watched it right now, go watch all of my Sparks. Uh, my 2020 Sparks in the Ozarks 15 videos. There's three of them. It's almost two hours of footage, man. I just It's raw, pretty much uncut. Uh, it's I just really can't talk enough about that show. If you like camping, you can camp at this show. You can even go all the way into the back 40. I do a complete drive around so you can see the very back of the show. You go back there, you can almost not even hear the show. Uh, it, it is just amazing. You got your camping. <clears throat> if your wife likes to camp but doesn't like the show, she don't have to see the show. You can go all the way to the back and fucking leave her back there and you can go up to the party and have a good time, come back and still do camping. Uh, aside from that, it's just awesome to be able to get all of the car clubs together, be able to have a good time. Uh, if you guys don't know the Bear Olympics or even pet games, Free Some Nature pet games, generally everywhere you can join in. You know, you don't even have to be a part of the club. It's, it's all about uh, making memories and having a good time. <clears throat> uh, so, with that being said, let's move on. Uh, this coming weekend, now we're shifting gears, okay? we got to shift gears because Turkey Drag is our next show. That's, uh, I believe it's the first weekend of December. Uh, you can still go as, as, a, uh, as a spectator, but their uh, amount of vehicles to register is used up, okay? There's like 750 registries. Me and my wife are registered for the show. We will be there showing. So that's what we have to do now. Uh, I'm not sure what the price is on being a spectator, but uh, due to COVID, that's why they had to bring it down. It was going to be a thousand entries, but they had to bring that back. We need to, within the next, in the amount of time we have, okay, I've got four weekends, or no, eight weekends to be able to work on my wife's car, my truck, and possibly the golf cart. I'm not sure if we're going to do anything to the golf cart <clears throat> before next year. I think we're going to leave the golf cart the way it is. I mean, everybody loves a golf cart. Anybody who rode in the golf cart, if you're out there, thanks for riding on the golf cart and having a good time with us. Uh, we're, we're not shy about letting people ride in the golf cart with us. If you're at a show, you want to ride on it, if it's full at the time, we'll try to make time to come over, get you on the golf cart, and take, and take you for a ride. Uh, so, what are we doing to my wife's car? Well, we still want to try to get some of that vinyl onto the interior. Uh, the, the red carbon fiber, get that upgraded uh, with, with uh, her switch box. Uh, I talked to, uh, to uh, James Penwell, which is Fat Jap. I talked to him about it. He said, get it out of there. It's still under warranty. I can send it to him. He can get a new part uh, mailed back out to me. So we need to get that new switch box on my wife's car. Do we need the switch box that I'm gonna send a fat jab? No, no, we don't need it, but to have one that works would be great for, for a future build or to have one on backup in case one of ours breaks. It's always good to have a switch box on hand. <clears throat> um, on, my, on my truck, I need to turn the exhaust. The exhaust is aimed down uh, the way I put it in there problem with that is when you have a low vehicle and it sits really close to the ground when you start it idle rev if you have almost like chalk sand or powder dirt it's literally gonna make a huge cloud and that's what happened it just people were looking at my truck like what's wrong with your truck it's there's freaking dust everywhere or smoke you couldn't tell if it was smoke or or what so yes we gotta get that turned a different way try to figure out the best way uh my buddy richard rush he suggested turn it to the right and go through the body panel i don't know if i'll be able to do that i, I mean i can do that but i'm not exactly sure where i want to cut it yet so that is a possibility if not i'm just going to pretty much go straight uh to where it's just under the axle we'll see what happens I gotta figure that part out. The other thing that I need to do uh, with my truck is, God damn, I can't remember what the hell it was. I know I need a battery. Uh, the, the battery tray needs to be put in. And oh, 
okay, somebody had mentioned, and you're probably gonna be like, see, I told you. Uh, somebody had mentioned that I need to fix my wiring. Well, the reason I do need to redo the wiring from the valve block all the way to the front is I grab the stack of wires that I had that were from a uh, trailer wiring harness. It happened to be the wiring harness that had been on a trailer for years. So the, the wires are crap, they're, they're just not good. So I have some other wiring. Uh, I need to look into that to see what wiring I have left. And if I don't have any good wiring, I need to go buy some new wiring for the valves to go up to the switch box and change a few other wires around so that everything's updated. <clears throat> I also want to group everything together, uh, make, make a new route for the wires. I also need to put in the uh, fuses uh, for the wiring and get that lined out. So there's a lot that needs to be done. As far that's that's a very time consuming piece. So hopefully I can get that done in one week. Hopefully we can get my wife's uh, new switch box wired in, and uh, and 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 some of that vinyl in another week. And then you know, like I said, we got eight weeks. So we'll try to get done as much as we can get done, and so that we can be at Turkey Drag. We are bringing her car. We are bringing the golf cart, we are bringing my truck, all that's coming to Turkey Drag with us. Uh, shout out to my Freaks family. Uh, you guys are fucking amazing. It's just, I, I just really can't say enough about choosing the Freaks of Nature as, as my home. I'm not trying to cut any other club out there. I love all of you guys as well. You're all my family. Our whole community is a family. I just feel that I fit in better with Freaks of Nature. That's the only reason I chose Freaks of Nature. And also, I had been hanging out with them for years. It was a serious, almost a flip of a coin as to whether I was gonna go with them or with uh, with uh, uh, Vertically Challenged. I've also had offers for, uh, for uh, oh, I can't, my brain is going too fast right now. But I had offers for other clubs and whatnot, but I did what I did. And I'm not regretting it. I'm happy where I am. Uh, I'm still petitioning. I've been petitioning for a year. I just want to say to people that are petitioning in any club, does it really matter how long you petition for? Because that to me just doesn't seem like something that's right in the head. You shouldn't worry about how long you're petitioning because you're part of that club. You are a part of that lifestyle. You're already there. The fact that you have a logo or not doesn't make you that much different from everybody else because you're in that family. You're hanging out with that family. I can't say that enough. You're already a part of it. Me, I'm a part of it. I could petition the rest of my fucking life and I'm going to be happy hanging out with my club, being a part of the freaks of nature. It's where I want to be. You know, if, let's say, uh, you got, you Let's say you met a guy or a girl and you guys don't get married for 10 years. Technically, you were petitioning for 10 years. You didn't get your logo for 10 years, but you were there because you loved them. You stuck it out because you loved them. I love the freaks of nature. I'm going to be here petitioning until I get fucking married. Okay? So if that's how you want to think about it, that's a perfect example. You're you're in it to win it, man. Here we are. Fucking go all out. Enjoy yourselves. Drink. Be merry. Have some milk and cookies if you don't drink. If you're lactose intolerant, get you some goddamn water. I'm sorry. Your life sucks. No. <laughs> My wife is lactose intolerant. And she was down for the fucking chug game. It just so happened that at the last second, they pulled her out of there. Did I tell you that story? No. You guys didn't see that story? No. My wife was up there already in the lineup to do the chug contest, that fucking gallon of milk. They started calling my name. I didn't want to fucking do it. I was looking around for my wife, couldn't find her. Finally, I find my wife, right? They're calling my name. I'm, well, I didn't find her right away. They call my name. They said, Lawrence, get over here. I'm like, fuck you guys. There's no fucking way. As I'm walking, I look through the crowd. My wife's already up there in line. I'm like, oh, fuck. She's going to do the chug. I can't be a bitch now. If I don't chug and my wife does, I'm a fucking bitch. So I fucking go through the crowd. I'm like, okay, fine. You know, I tell the DJ that. Fucking Jason hollers out to everybody, tells everybody that, that I can't be a bitch because my wife's already in. It was fucking hilarious. 
I get up there and I stand and he says, okay, everybody back up and line up. I need seven of you, okay? So we line up, we're lined up like this, right? This is my wife over here. No, like this, there we go. My wife's over here, right? This is me right here, this motherfucker that got fucked, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lawrence, you're number seven. Gina, you can step to the side, they said. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, wait a minute, can I trade places? They were like, no, we're done. Lawrence, you're in, Gina, you're out. Oh, fuck. She just looked at me and smiled and just said, good luck. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. So, uh, that's it. I don't have a whole lot more to say, but I mean, we're gonna try to get some of that stuff done this weekend. In two weeks, there's a show in Arkansas, in Searcy, Arkansas. It is called Wake the Dead. It's mainly a base competition, but they're trying to kind of uh, trying to move over towards a car show. And uh, it used to be out six, seven years ago. It used to be uh, the Wake the Dead show, and it was still a base competition slash car show. So they're trying to bring that back. We're gonna try to make it up there to that. My wife works that weekend, so I'm probably gonna load up hopefully the golf cart and the mini truck and take those two up there to the show and uh, try to enjoy that show. It's from nine to two is the car show. The base competition goes on from like nine to 10 o'clock at night. Searcy, Arkansas, uh, two weeks. I can't even think about when that is. That is, I believe, the 17th. Saturday the 17th, I think is what it is. So uh, if you live in the area, it'd be great to see you come out. I know some of you watching do live in the area, so that's another reason I'm letting you guys know. I've been rambling on for 12 minutes. I'm gonna cut this now. I love you guys. Freaks for life. I will see you guys at the next show. Subscribe, thumbs up, boom, I'm out.